do 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 Mousy Mars. Hey guys, it's Mousy Mars here, and uh, yeah, I am inside a uh, Nether fortress, just exploring about, seeing what's that. Oh, I have to turn on the. Uh, there we go. Just exploring, trying to find a blaze spawner so we can pick it up with this dolly that I've made. Ooh. I've killed quite a few of these little magma cream thingies, they're so annoying. And yeah, just uh, running around, finding stuff that we can do. And if I find a blaze spawner, I want, want to pick it up in this dolly. Now, I know we have the um, Chewy's blaze spawner at spawn, however, We've kind of upgraded it a little bit, and it's, uh, I'm also going to collect some redstone. Basically, we need more power for it to work properly, uh, to its full potential, and obviously that's going to cost a lot, because it's about 3,000 RF for it to work at its full potential, and at the moment we're only spawning six blazes per minute, which is, I think, less than... Uh, an actual spawner could do so I'm gonna I know nether fortress does have two of them two spawners so I'm gonna try and find the other one getting a few diamonds and stuff here and I'm just throwing everything into where is it my yellow bag here gold bag sorry can't say yellow um, just kind of throwing everything that I'm getting in here and I did forget my um my other pick so I'm unable to get Ardyne stuff, which I still haven't made my upgraded tools, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I was, I was aiming to come here to get some Ardyne and Cobalt, and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to explore this. So I thought I'd uh, share my some of my discoveries with you. So, so far, I have killed a few of those um, wither skeletons. I've got some horse armor, saddles, killed some imps. Uh, I found uh, quite a bit of nether wart, I've got some soul sand and nether brick and just some ores and stuff so yeah I'm probably going to explore this some more. I'm kind of hoping to find some kind of treasure in some of these chests, you know the Thorncraft treasure that we've been getting from the from the blaze, that's one of the reasons that I want to fix that spawner because uh, those treasures let me get some ender pearls which is extremely useful. Okay guys, so I've found a blaze spawner. Now you can actually pick these things up with this here dolly that I've made. And to make this, it's simply three diamonds and a dolly. And a dolly is just some iron in an L shape and a piece of wood. And these things can pick up and move anything. So if there's a chest with stuff in it, you can pick it up, you can move it, and you can place it down. Uh, and you can do the same with spawners. So let's, uh, let's take out these blades here. Now, if we shift click this, you can see we've now picked it up and we can we can now move it. Now, it does give us fatigue, that's why if you put it in a pouch, done. Now we have that spawner. So, yeah, now that blaze spawner that you made will be even more efficient. Awesome. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, it's time to actually start the episode. So, as you can see, I've made up all of these Tingus tools, just ignore my inventory right now. I've made them all up, and uh, if I just grab them out of this here bag, we will go out here and we will take a look at them all. Now, I haven't actually made the sword yet. Oh, let's see. Haven't made the sword yet. <laughs> haven't actually made the sword yet, but um, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. So, if we come out here, um, so if we put this in here, we can see it has 29 mining speed, which is amazing. Now, Unfortunately, I couldn't put the IC2 power onto this thing, um, so I took a look inside this here book, and I went along, let me find it for you, there's nothing in here about the IC2 one, however, we can go ahead and throw on one of these thermal expansion ones, which is just, hang on, this guy right here, the hardened flux capacitor, um, tools much. Uh, so basically, they have to be healed uh, right before you put the thing on. So what we're going to need to be able to use this uh, hardened flux capacitor, which is right here. No, that's the leadstone we were hardened because the top one we can put on. Uh, I was watching Dmax video. Apparently, you can't put these these upper ones on, unfortunately. So the most you'll be able to get is forty thousand RF. Oh, four hundred thousand RF. That's not too bad. And I guess we can make a resident thing and have it on our hotbar. But anyway, 
this little guy right here is what we want to make up to put on our tool. So it just takes tin, invar, some redstone, and then one of these leadstone ones with just sulfur, lead, copper. Really easy to make these. Um, and then we also need to make one of these energetic infusers to charge up all of our stuff, um, which is just a leadstone energy cell. Oh, just a frame. Um, the basic machine frame, I think there's, there's multiple ones here. One of these redstone reception coils, which is just a piece of gold. Really easy to get that. And um, while I do this and make these these machines and stuff, I, I also want to get made up a magma crucible, which is some nether brick, machine frame, s s uh, the leadstone cell, the gears again, the copper reception coil. And to get the nether brick, all we have to do is just smelt some nether rag. And I also want to make myself up a fluid transposer which is a bucket, some glass, that machine frame, and the same stuff again. I should go ahead and show you what I've done just after I show you these tools. So we've got Fortune 3 on it, 450 lapis, and I've put 150 redstone on here. Um, I haven't used any modifiers on this pick yet, so um, I think we still have three modifiers left. You can put a, a diamond block and a piece of, I think it's a golden apple, but it's a notch apple, so gold blocks um, together to get another modifier you can do a diamond block I mean a diamond and a gold block and you can also do a nether star to get another modifier on these things um, so this this is shovel 29 mining speed again 150 redstone uh, I used up all of the modifiers on that too I must have used an extra modifier on this pick then um, in case you're wondering what they're made from uh, they're actually made from uh, cobalt I used this pick here I think is a manelium rod manelium tool thing stick um, paper binding and then cobalt head and these ones here are just manelium rods and cobalt heads as well and then the axe is just the exact same with 150 redstone here's where it gets interesting so as you see, I've got thormic on these ones. Actually, I, I, no, I, did, I used paper binding. I should have used thormic bindings on these things. Ah, oh well. Anyway, so if we take a look here, this pick here is basically this pick, only it's got silk touch instead of instead of that fortune. And as you can see, you take a hit on that mining speed with that silk touch. So the the lumber axe. Now, as you can, if I click here, you can see this. You've got this plate. So what I did was I made a thormic plate a uh, thormic binding and a manelium rod for this guy and that gave us extra modifiers because thormic's basically a better version of paper and um, I managed to get myself 11.4 mining speed on this guy uh, 150 redstone I've still got two modifiers so I might just pack it full of redstone uh, get that mining speed up don't really need anything else on it and it's this here I think Oh, no, maybe it was my excavator with 40. Yeah, the excavator has 14. 200 redstone. I think I went over on this one, and I was just like, well, may as well do it for this one. But I haven't quite managed to do it for this one. So this one here, again, is just made of the same stuff. Thormic plate, thormic binding, manelium rod. So these no longer are connected. Everything now has these upgrades. So you may remember we made an overclocker for these two the other day. I've added two into every single machine that we have here. I've added a storage upgrade which gives us 10,000 more EU, so if I take this out, put it back in, oh it keeps it, okay, well, I was supposed to show you, there's 10,000 more EU stored in this machine now, and we have two of these transformer upgrades to bring it onto tier 3, meaning it can accept the 512 gold insulated cable that we have here, uh, and as you can see all of them have these upgrades, and I put four into this furnace since this is going to produce two dust and um, I made this one here twice as fast to process and keep up how effective that is. It also helps to smell glass and stuff. So this here compressor, uh, same stuff. Uh, also I found out you can actually put the, uh, what, what are these things called, these empty cells straight into here with some water and it will automatically give you these cells out. Now this stuff you can't actually convert into this. You have to take this out and then into a tank and then get it out through the cells but yeah I found that out and obviously you put the lapis dust in there which you get from um, throwing lapis inside your macerator. Now back here I've added in these extra geothermals and over here 
Well, I'm, I'm going to actually make up another one of these uh, MFEs. But basically, oh, we can charge that while we do this. So this is facing this way so that it brings all the power to this. Now, this here in the corner is a red net cable. Now, what this is doing, this is actually in a fixed mode. It's, it's called forced. So if we just go ahead and show you. So cable. So you've got a few modes. You've got standard forced, which is what we're going to leave it on. Um, strong and cable only which is nothing basically so we're going to go ahead and put this on forced meaning it will, auto, it will kind of get the power from here and this what this does is it converts the EU into RF for us so for every one EU which is 512 out we'll get four times as much um, of this this here thermal expansion RF so basically, off this 512, that means we're going to get 2,048 RF going through this. Now this here pipe can only take 1,000 RF, unfortunately. So we're only getting 1,000 RF flowing through this little yellow pipe. And then these ones here limit it even further. Okay, guys. So, oh, oh, what's happening? Okay, we uh, head down here. Oh, no, our machines have gone. And there's a dirt blocks here now. Yes, this. This is actually a door. Uh, it's a carpenter's door. And what you do is... Oh, hang on. Right. If I search carpenter's door here, this is the most awesome thing. Carpenter... Oh, no. There's no S. Carpenter door. Oh, there is an S. So, this door here, right, you make it with these carpenter's blocks with just some wood with some sticks around it. And you can get this thing called a... Um, where is it? Carpenter's hammer thing yeah and uh, you can change like what the door is so I've just made it solid piece of dirt the best I can throw that back in there oh wrong chest wrong chest in there okay so yeah and then this is just through here and I've made a second MFE here um, so we can kind of charge up all our armor a bit faster got all of these working so put dirt here still have the CASU and then in here I've moved the, the um, ender oil machines in. Now I did make all of the thermal expansion machines um, for, for good reason, they're useful I thought you know making just this wasn't really enough so this obviously charges up all of these uh, tinkers tools now the sawmill, the sawmill is an awesome block, it allows us to get 5 wood per log so if we grow in here Let's grab out a log. Let's head back down again. So if we just throw that in there, you can say I'll get five, six. Sorry, oh wow, six. They've increased it. Um, and this sawdust here as well. So yeah, that's what that does. Now the pulverizer, it does basically what our macerator does, but it has a few recipes that our macerator just doesn't have. For example, our macerator. If we put a bone in here right now. We would only get, wait, four bone mill, whereas if we put it in the macerator, I mean the pulverizer, sorry, we get six. And there's also a few other things such as ferrous and stuff, which is a lot easier to make in the pulverizer. And I've just got this leading straight down into a furnace right now. Uh, just just the way that this is here. So now I could use this or this to, to double our rules, basically. Um, the induction smelter is a completely separate thing, and um, it's one of the things that allows us to craft up this Electrum stuff really easily um, if I just show you because at the moment we have to do all this stuff to get Electrum whereas with this I think we can just go ahead and yeah we can just put in the gold and the silver and get Electrum out like that which is a lot better and it's a lot more efficient to do this and it also means we can get hardened glass and stuff like that which is really cool this setup here is what's going to allow us to get these uh, redstone energy cells. So we'll put this redstone in the top, uh, we put 40 in, to get 400 millibuckets, and then we throw in one of these frames into the bottom machine there. So redstone goes in the top, other one in the bottom. The tank's just to hold it, you know, in case there's any overflow. And then if we want to change liquids, we can just throw out different tanks. Because obviously, they, to make this stuff here, to make this blend, you need 
whereas an ender bucket, which you get through melting down ender pearls into the liquid inside this machine up here. Sorry about my voice, by the way, guys. It's a bit rough again. Sorry. Now, this block here allows us to kind of facade things. So if I just get this... Oh, hang on. Okay. So all of these facade blocks here, what you do is you put a... Um, oh, oh, I did not know you could do that. You grab one of these... Uh, what? Oh, I forgot my name of them. Ender I.O. Uh, one of these uh, conduit facades, which is just some conduit binders. And you go ahead and you throw that in. And whatever block's here, you can just set the block in. I'm not going to do it because I want to keep the dirt there. Basically just allows us to make these things. And if I... Can I pop this off? Yeah, I think I can just... There we go. Yeah, so you see this uh, conduit facade? Place this on our Ender I.O. pipes and it hides them away from everything, which is which is perfect. I'm making some uh, tree farms here. Uh, I want to get an oak tree farm going. Actually, no, a rubber tree farm would be more useful for us. Um, so if I just search my factory reloaded. So um, some of the stuff here that we're going to need. We're going to need a planter, which is, well... Bit complicated, I know. Uh, now there's two recipes: there's the thermal expansion one or the Ender IO recipe. I'm going to use the thermal expansion one uh, because of this electric steel, which is a pain to smelt down. Uh, but you could use the Ender IO one. It's it's actually I think a bit cheaper, I would say. But just looking at it, I think it uses more iron actually, which you may not want. But I I don't really want to use up my iron. I've got a bit of copper now, so it's basically just the standard thermal expansion set two pistons, a flower pot, and this plastic sheet which you get from raw plastic, and raw plastic is just smelted down rubber, so it's really really easy to get this. And that's that machine, obviously the basic machine for it, just glass, tin, and iron. And this will allow us to plant saplings. Now, we're also going to need a harvester to harvest everything. Now, these things need gold gears, which we haven't actually made before, but they're just like any other gear, they're just iron and gold. Um, Machine frame reception coil, which is just gold and redstone. Uh, shears, which is just two iron, an axe, more of those plastic sheets and a basic machine frame. So I'm going to make all this up, and this harvester also lets us get berries as well. Hey guys, okay, so I've made everything up now, and um, obviously we need something to power this, so I thought, well, may as well make a solar panel. This thing's actually a pain in the arse to craft, so needs lots of iron, by the way. You got to make this uh, leadstone solar core thing, which is some lead, redstone block, lead gears, which is just a piece of iron with some lead around it. And then that makes this core, these cells, which is glass, lapis, and iron. And then just some leather quartz and iron. And then I made a hardened one. So if we just. Uh, just one. Do this. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, and then um, this side will do three. Come on, come on, place. No, nope. not gonna place. And then we'll just kind of, I don't know, bring it up like that. And in here we need to place down some dirt for the saplings to go on. Perfect. And then down here, oh, let's turn the hover off a sec. We will take our little 3x3 three three area under the farm. And then right here we'll do our pipe to the... Uh, to the other farm as well. Doing it, yes, there we go. It spits all out the back, perfect. That is perfect. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have some barrels on each side here. I'm done. Yeah, you have to excuse my voice again. Uh, I'm still ill. Unfortunately, um, of course, this is a like little bit ago now. This is today is the twenty seventh of February. In case you're wondering, um, but yeah, I, d I don't even know when this is going up. So 
I think it's like so 10 or 9 or 10. I lost track. Um, so we'll go ahead and throw our better barrels here. Now, the good thing is they actually they can go upwards like that. So now I can see. Okay, guys, so I've now done this. Actually, change what this one here has got around it. It's um, it's now got stone bricks because it kept these cobble upgrade didn't do it properly. Apparently, when it's a tree farm, it expands out 11 on each side because obviously trees can grow past 3x3. Three three. But anyway, yeah, I've uh, fixed that. I've added a barrel for apples. So now we've got logs, saplings, apples. I've just let it run. Now, this is actually just an overflow barrel. Down here, inside this guy, we've got this. This um, I basically put cobble in all the slots because if not, it filled them all up. Um, so I, I went ahead and thrown cobble there, and then the saplings fill up here. And then in here we have this item filter upgrade, which is just a hopper and some paper. And I put an open sackler in there, put it on priority ten, so it will go here first. And threw that in there. The pipes obviously are here. Um, sludge comes down, basically just extracting there. I've moved this guy out because the trees kept growing over and blocking the light. I'm going to upgrade our power. I'll probably make another few of these little solar panel things after I go mining. Um, yeah, tree farm's working perfectly. Berry farm, as you can see, I've got all the wire in here. I've actually got to cover all of this stuff up. Let's just do that. Um, basically there's four harvesters as you can see one two three four and they're all kind of doing their job and picking the berries and then sending them into these barrels that are on the um yeah they're all working still i had this issue where this they because the barrels are locked and they've got stuff in them it kept making these machines stop working so now you know we've got these barrels here and what I did was to solve this issue, I kind of went down here and I added a chest up at the end here. Um, so now it will always say that there's something to put items into. Okay guys, so I've made up the sword. Here it is. And, and the other one. But uh, we're not going to put beheading on that just yet because we can't. We don't have any ender pearls. In case you're wondering what this slowness is, that witch over there done it. So we'll take a moment to kill her. Thank you. Uh, this sword, however, I've, I've charged it up and everything. If I throw it in here, it's got 10.5 hearts, it's got flux. So it's 288 quarts, and I think it's, uh, I only use one modifier, but I use the diamond and the gold block, so it's, uh, it's got all the other ones, so we'll be able to do that. Sadly, not going to be fighting with it today. Ran out of time, so next episode we'll fight. I'll get nine skulls and we'll fight three with us. Get three nether stars. But yeah, and I also captured an enderman inside a safari net. So we can build an enderman spawner and then never have to worry about ender piles again. Also, there's stars in the sky. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.